Screen time has increased for so many kids, especially when children turn to the Internet for school and social media to stay connected with friends during this pandemic. But there are dangers that law enforcement investigators want to warn you about. The Night Team's Patty Santos with tonight's Crime Fighters report. The 18 and 19 year old shared the cell phone, but it was a flip phone. So, and that's all they had. Mother of six, Georgie Ojeda, says smartphones and social media are off limits for her kids until they're grown. I try to keep them off the internet and um, just because we know the the problems that can arise and things like that. Investigators agree. My name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm an investigator with the Kerr County Sheriff's Office. In mid-September, Kerr County Sheriff Digital Forensic Investigators helped make several arrests in an online child sexting. We were able to apprehend five people in 48 hours um, that were actively seeking to, to um, meet a child online in person for sexual contact. It's a new push the agency is taking as they see a rise in online crimes targeting children, a problem worsened by the pandemic when kids have been pushed to the internet where predators wait. Tinder, Grindr, all these other dating websites, they're all used by usually underage children and the adults know that. Part of his job is to look through loads of data on confiscated phones for evidence in these types of cases. Teens, they will know that their parents are going to check their phones, so they'll delete these apps when they get out of school, but when they go in the morning time, they'll de re-download them and they can just log right back in and play. We had a case with an eight year old who was actually relatively savvy to the extent that they exposed themselves online to a predator. Undercover officers with San Antonio police remind parents the greatest and latest technology isn't always best for your child to play with. There's a fine line between what kind of technology a child should use and what your specific child is mature enough to use. And that line can only be drawn by a parent who knows that child well. But the most meaningful advice is talk to your kids about why cyberspace is dangerous. We wouldn't drop our kid in the middle of the ocean and say good luck to you. So let's not drop them in the middle of the internet and say good luck to you. You can get help keeping an eye on your kids. These are companies that will help you monitor what they're doing on their devices. We have this list on KSET.com. Patty Santos, KSET 12 News.